Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this channel. I wasn't prepared for this video because I didn't know the definition of forbearance. So I searched the definition and I got it. I found that the definition it was patient self self control, restraint and tolerance. So that is what I will try to preach about. If it is the Lord's will, if God gives me wisdom, and make sure to test me with the Bible. There lived a man. This is fi this is fi this is a fiction story, but I want you to learn something from this story. He loved God and did all he and did all he can to tell people about God. Now, at that hour, he was with his father, helping him out in his father's restaurant. His father cooked all kinds of delicious foods like for example french fries pizza chicken orange chicken chicken nuggets and so more he worked in his father's restaurant for 10 full years there came a day when he said to his father father i want to leave this restaurant and go to law school i want to study at law school then become a lawyer. His father said, okay, son. So he flew to New York City and went to the best school. He studied in a huge classroom. His grade was good. One day he was walking, going to class. Then he saw two people fighting. Then he remembered Matthew, Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. He went told them that he told them what God said in Matthew chapter 9 verse 9 but they said who do you think you are he said please you need to stop they said they said you are not the boss of me you are right he said but God is God wants you to stop living a life of sin and repent he kept he kept telling them about God, what he did to save us, but all they did was spit on him and punch him. They tried to provoke him because fighting is against school rules. They, they themselves wa weren't caught fighting, but they wanted to provoke him. But they failed because he forbearance from fighting. Did you hear what I just said? He forbearance from fighting. So basically, he restrained himself from fighting. This is what should. Uh, this is what we should always do. Forbearance is restraining yourself. When someone provokes you, avoid sinning. When someone provokes you, avoid sinning. Just as God restrained His wrath from falling on you by showing His great, His grace on you. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 23 it says because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail verse 23 they are new every morning great is your faithfulness verse 24 verse 20 yeah Yes, verse 24. Let me just read verse 24. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. You can read the rest of it for yourself if you want. Jesus is the reason why God's wrath doesn't fall on you. We were born sinners. By nature, we were rebels. Romans chapter 7 verse 14. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. Psalms chapter 51 verse 5. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Psalms chapter 58 verse 3. 
Even from birth, the wicked go astray. From the womb, they are weighed, they are wave word spreading lies. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 3. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving uh, of wrath. We deserve the second death, but God loved us so much that he took our punishment. Why did I say he took our punishment? I say that because God is just. For example, a judge spares a criminal. He lets the criminal who murdered 10 people who are government officials. Do you think that judge is corrupt? Yes, he is. Now let's look at God. He is the most holy of holies. He loves justice. Now, if you look at man, you see that us human beings love justice. We have laws by which all people must obey. Now, if you see a person who committed murder, you would want that person to be in prison. What about a holy God? You, you have sinned against him. You have sinned against the God who said, let there be light and there was light. A God who created powerful angels. A God who created the universe with its planets and stars. A God who existed before the world began. Do you realize that you sinned against the God who gave you life, food, water, things to enjoy? I and all of and I and all people of all time have sinned against God. So what did God do to save us? He sent his he sent a substitute in our place. That substitute is, is Jesus Christ our our Lord and Savior. You, you see, God is just, merciful, compassionate, loving, faithful, loyal. Sorry if I have not mentioned any other attributes of God. You see, God is completely just and completely merciful and so on. The question is, how can God be completely just and merciful? The answer is in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God is just because he took all of our sins and put it on Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. Verse 5, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Verse 6, We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Verse 7, He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was he was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Verse 8. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. Verse 9. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Verse 10. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. God is completely merciful because through Jesus Christ's suffering and death on the cross, you can be saved. 
His love should always motivate you to be faithful to Him and to obey Him, to obey the things that are written in the Bible. So please, always forbearance from sinning. What I mean is, avoid sinning. I hope I use that word correctly. Restrain yourself. Restrain yourself when being provoked to sin, to sinning. When people say all bad things to you, forbearance from sinning. Have patient self Have patient self control. Restrain yourself from committing any type of sin. Romans chapter 2, verse 1 to 9 in the ESV translation. Verse 1 to 9. Therefore you have no excuse, O oh man, every one of you who judges. For in passing judgment on an, on another, you condemn yourself, because you, because you, the judge, practice, practice the very same things. Verse 2, we know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Verse 3, do you suppose, O oh man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do the same thing? Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot. And yet, uh, I forgot and I read it wrong. And yet, let me read it again. And yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God. Oh, verse 4. Oh, do you, sub oh, I read it wrong. Verse 4. Oh, do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? Verse 5. But because of your of your hand and omnipotent heart you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. Verse 6. He will render to each one according to his works. To those, verse 7, to those who who by patient in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Verse 8. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, and but obey and righteousness, there will be there will be wrath and fury. Verse nine. There will there will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil, the Jew first and also the Greek. Verse ten. But glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first and also the Greek. Oh, I read verse verse ten. Sorry. But yeah, you understand, right? You understand, right? Let me just read uh, verse eleven. For God shows no partiality. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, verse 20, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, Divisions and verse 21, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like this. I warn you, as I warned you before, but before that, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Verse, 20, verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patient, patience, kindness, goodness. Uh, I read it wrong in the patience part. Let me just read it. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, verse 23, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law, verse 24. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires, verse 25. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit, verse 26. Let us not become coins. Conciated, provoking one another, envying one another. 
in the ESV translation, it in in Gal it, it says in Galatians chapter five verse nineteen to twenty six. It says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So please be patient when, when you are waiting for the return of Jesus Christ because one day, is to, one day to God is a thousand years. Bear with one another in love. Whatever God has promised and has not yet come true, be patient because all the promises of God are true. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20, verse 20 in the NIV translation. For no matter how many promises, for no matter how many this is Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Thank you for watching this video. God loves you very much. I hope you learned something in this video. Yes. Yes. I hope you learned something from this video and test me with the Bible. Yeah, God loves you very much. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer, I tell you. The devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for ten days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. This, this part of the, uh, of the verse is so important. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. Great.
Mm-hmm.